Hey guys, check it out. We're looking at Serato DJ 1.9.5. And don't go checking your phone. <laughs> I really need to turn my phone off when this stuff is happening. Um, so let me just mute that so not everyone keeps checking their phone thinking you got a text message. Anyway, Serato DJ 1.9.5. So uh, Mac OS Sierra is now supported. And I had to upgrade recently, so that works out well for me. I haven't even installed it yet onto the computer, so I'm not even running through the update. I'm just showing you straight here's what it is. So they finally have a performance for uh, all the latest gear. Um, so it says for optimum performance of the Nexus and the Nexus 2 and the Nexus 2 on the CDJ side of things, just make sure you have the latest firmware and drivers. And of course they have links for that stuff, which is great. And um, so the Strato Club Kit supports uh, the latest mixer great um you know what cdj's the latest can run in hid mode that's awesome let's see what they have under the release notes um sync would incorrectly half or double bpm i've seen that happen uh, i don't do windows 7 i uh, don't use an 850 fix an issue where q points would reorder incorrectly never saw that uh fix where track sync can be activated after powder release Never saw that. Uh, Pinter crash, improved stability, memory optimization. And you know what? Half of this stuff um, I haven't had an issue with, so it's not going to be a big deal for me. But hey, you know, I always like when they uh, make things better. So let's go back here and we will download Serato DJ. And people are always asking, so I'm going to tell you straight here. System requirements. Uh, Serato DJ wants to have, under both Mac and Windows, you want to have at least a 1.07 gig, 32-bit, 64 gig, i3, an i5, or an i7, but like 1 gig. Um, they want 5 gig of hard drive space. They want 4 gig of memory. Uh, pitch and time wants you to have a little better processor. Not much, though. And Serato DJ says 1 gig of video memory recommended for best performance. So that's not so bad. Um, that's a quick download. So let's just open it up when we're done. Of course I agree to whatever, just let me play my music. And I don't like to have these big long videos like this, but you know, I like to be thorough, make sure that you guys get it. And so far, I haven't sworn yet. So I'm going to try to cut down the swear, and that'll be the New Year's resolution to, uh, you know, try to clean the videos up a little bit. Sometimes there's children in the room and stuff, so. Take your Serato DJ, drag it into your Applications folder. And uh, I'm a liar, obviously. I did have a Serato DJ installed already, so we will just replace it. If you're curious about my machine here, this is an uh, late 2011 MacBook Pro. Uh, it's a 2.8 gig Intel i Intel, sorry, I'm losing it here. Intel Core i7, 8 gigs of RAM. Um, see, this is where this computer suffers. If I had a little bit more memory, this thing would be all right. Um, I put a solid state hard drive in it. That helped incredibly. It's such a fast machine. 15 second boot up from a minute and 20 seconds. Let's go into our applications and. Oh, helps right DJ. Now, I don't have the controller hooked up or anything hooked up on the side of it, things, so it's not going to do much except just open up. Are you sure you want to? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Now, 
And of course, here we go. Just in case you didn't know, what's new? But here's the big one. Recently added, this is the uh, Ableton Link integration. This is great, man. So I just did a video, if you saw my last video, was the uh, link integration between tractor and machine. And that works great. So I can't wait to have all the systems in the house here running. And I can say, you know what? Machines go in. Um, I've got Serato running. I've got tractor running. And we're all linked over Wi-Fi, synced together. We're going to have some good jams here at the DJ Lab. So let's sh uh, shut that down. And... That's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I'm probably not seeing the link thing because I don't have anything plugged in at this point. Unless it is over here somewhere. My audio is a little high. I can take that to the 5, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, it's probably going to be sitting somewhere. Once I plug the controller in, I'm always want to do smart sync, snap to beat grid. That should work. Okay, that's it. Uh, sorry for the long video, but thanks for watching the channel. You're watching Steve's Man Cave. I recently changed it from Tractor Specialist because I kind of specialize in a wide range of things now video games, hardware. Just recently got a drum machine from uh, Roland. So, yeah, we're going to be doing some big things soon. Talk to you guys later and have a good Christmas if I don't do another video before then.